31 Stock Tank Pool Designs and Ideas McMinnville, Oregon-based Matt and Darcy Haney are owners of a design-build firm called M.D. Haney & Co., through which they renovate homes, refinish furniture, build custom cabinetry, decorate, offer classes and workshops, and even have an online shop. They enjoy their stock tank pool with their two daughters in a simple space they created with smooth stones, a wooden stool for access, and clean, clear water. Dana and David Morris got by with an inflatable kiddie pool to beat the Houston heat for one summer, but, come the following spring, the couple decided to step up for a tank pool. In their blog, Dana plus David, they chronicle the adventures of buying, transporting, and finding the perfect spot in their backyard. They also include detailed photos for installing plumbing for a filter, fixtures, and little extras to buy, that yellow rubber duck is actually a sanitizing dispenser. Texan Katie Mansfield writes about decorating, recipes, DIYing, and the farmhouse lifestyle in her blog, Let's Add Sprinkles. Back in 2015, she was a pioneer of stock tank pools and offers many tips on design and safety. Among them, Christina and Wayne create handcrafted wall art, wood shelves, nursery decor, and gifts from their backyard studio in Oregon, which they sell through their online shop, Dream State. When the temperatures climb, they enjoy refreshing in the trough pool they updated in 2015 with a pea gravel patio, potted flowers, and a wooden deck for easy access. The crafty couple drilled a hole for a water spigot at the bottom edge of the pool for drainage and another hole to hook up a small pool filter. Dry land, a windmill, and a wide and shallow livestock tank filled with water for the animals are featured in this beautiful scene. Tyler Pierce, who writes the blog, Single Ingredient Life, and who, occasionally rides his bike in places where I shouldn't, according to his Instagram profile, was inspired by this stock tank pool. When Nashville-based best friends Savannah and Casey set up a stock tank pool the previous year, they thought it might be nice to just sit around the pool with their feet dangling in. But not on that uncomfortable edge. Can't blame a stock tank, it's not really what it was made for, they wrote in their blog, Hey Wanderer. Anyway, we decided to build a bench this year. It has been fantastic. Being able to sit on the edge with your feet in the water means you'll be using the heck out of your pool. Concord, California, residents Brandon and Ivana Scott created a nectar spot in their backyard for their family to relax, have fun, and watch their herbs and vegetables grow. Lacey Duke is an Austin, Texas, artist who used her creative talents to build herself a house made from a shipping crate and a stock tank pool she equipped with a sand filter. Located in an area known as Slaughter Creek Acres, Duke says of her new digs, which she refers to as Baby Shippy, I'm digging the relation of making a habitable living space out of a once barren and harsh environment. A separate patio was built to house a stock tank pool environment that includes an electric and solar-powered umbrella, tropical plants, a funky cherub statue, and pea gravel for the backyard, owned by Tara Joie Beavers of Coatesville, Pennsylvania. Tara is a blogger who lives in an old farmhouse and sells vintage and eclectic items on her Etsy shop, Rascals Rarities. Since the family dog often takes dips in the pool, engineer Kenneth Cardon regularly cleans the filter of the above-ground pool pump he attached to his stock tank. To maintain pH levels, Cardon uses chlorine tablets and occasionally shocks it with liquid chlorine. His biggest challenge, keeping leaves from large oak trees and Spanish moss out of the pool. Cardon bought an oversized 10-foot round pool cover for around $15 on Amazon. For winter maintenance, he came up with the idea of using a queen-sized air mattress to float on the water, which keeps the cover from sinking or collecting debris from the oaks. It's hard work to run the organic Infinity View farm in Kentucky with 44 animals and beehives. So at the end of the day, Erin Smith and her husband, Jason Redman, relax in their 8-foot stock tank pool. It's a great way to close the day, says Smith. Naturally, the plastic-free farmers use very little, if any, chemicals in the tank. Redman runs the manual skimmer daily to keep it clean and it only needs to be filled once each season. 
Hawaiian natives and high school sweethearts Jennifer Panahal and Chris Palayo bought a historic 1850s farmhouse in Somerville, South Carolina, which they write about on their blog, Flowertown Charms. The married DIYERs set up a garden pool with an old-fashioned pump-style spigot, all detailed with images in their blog. Be sure and check out their menagerie of goats, big fluffy Pyrenees dogs, chickens, and cats. While shopping for supplies at their local farm store, Megan and Aaron Austin's three children spied the stock tanks. A pool, they begged. The Austins did some quick mental measuring, realized it would fit, and added the tank to their order. When Charles Crespi moved from a Boston home on a large lot with an in-ground pool to a much smaller home in Las Vegas, he realized that building a new pool would be too costly. Inspired by a stock tank pool he saw on Pinterest, Crespi went to a local farm supply store and bought an oval model, 8 feet long by 2 feet high and capable of holding 360 gallons of water. Dog-loving and rescuing real estate agent Lauren Karsten punched up the yard and pool at her Grand Rapids, Michigan, home with colorful floats, toys, and lawn chairs. Four large concrete pavers, some stumps, an umbrella, and a vintage butterfly chair give a mod vibe to the patio and tank pool pad at the Los Angeles home of set designer Patrick Dunbaker and Erica Leon. When it gets hot in Gainesville, Texas, the owner of the Red Pony Boutique likes to cool off in privacy in her trough pool with a lattice top wood screen, umbrella in a galvanized container, and some colorful towels. The cover helps keep the pool debris free and is a smart, safe idea when children are around. Deborah Adams is a real estate agent in Phoenix with an eye for design. She dressed up her own backyard stock tank with a ceramic stool and lanterns, float, poolside chair, offset umbrella, and some portable spa steps. That orange padded rim is made from pool noodles, which picks up the orange table and striped umbrella. Owner Mark Ferrito of New York built a raised deck for his stock tank pool, which is enjoyed by his family, friends, and dog. Julia Reston found a spot for her pool between the lawn and mulch and added pavers to make sure no bark chips get in the pool. To add personal style and comfort, she added noodles on the edge, nice for leaning against, a fun wrought iron candelabra, hanging glass ornaments, and a skull. School teacher Jamie Stevens lives with her husband and their two children in a pretty house she loves to decorate and photograph inside and out. A friend helped her haul the tank home on a trailer. The pool is a big hit with children, who find there's plenty of room to actually swim. Salem, Oregon, mom Deborah D'Amico likes to tackle DIY projects on her own, including a mini forest in her backyard with enchanted string lights. Her son, Johnny, enjoys the tank pool for a quick splash or relaxation with a ride on inflatable. A 1940s-built house in Richmond, Virginia, is the perfect setting for vintage outdoor decor that includes a hillbilly hot tub, string lights, a pink ice cream parlor-style dining set, and a hippie-era hammock. Yeehaw! Patrick's tank in Tucson made a big splash when he filled it up and tested the waters with some friends. He placed the pool on his brick patio near vintage motel chairs and a repurposed old bathtub. Deep in the heart of Texas, the sons of Shelley Childress are genuine cowboys in training. When chores are done, it's time for a dunk in the big wide tank. Michael and Callie Wartko of Akron, Ohio, love to travel in their spare time. But when they're home in the summer, they hang out with their dogs in the stock tank pool, which they glammed up by pouring a gravel foundation and building a wooden deck to support the tank and keep it level. To maintain it, the Wartkos connected an above-ground pool pump and filter and shock the pool weekly. Those hot Georgia summers got James and Kylie Case Wessner to consider installing a pool in their yard. Then Kylie found a how-to on Pinterest for stock tank pools. I thought that was a better option for us and our two dogs without doing a full-scale pool, says James. He dug a hole to sink the tank, then leveled the surrounding ground. He also dug a small pit nearby to house an above-ground filter and connected the hoses to a pond waterfall tub. After realizing their dogs had difficulty accessing the pool, they built a wooden submersible bench, which made it easier for both humans and pets. 
Jen Steele Payne, an Indiana mother of four boys who is into interior design and yoga, dug a hole in her yard and hooked up a filter and saltwater system to customize her pool. Of course, I wanted it in ground, she says. Digging through tree roots and wheeling dirt 50 yards away I prefer a shovel to a gym any day. Missouri mom Carrie Elligard wisely keeps her children and their friends entertained yet close by with a trough pool placed on a side patio. Elligard made sure there was plenty of seating and tables to give her a place to watch them, umbrellas to keep everyone cool, and snacks and refreshments on hand so she doesn't have to leave the scene. The hippie, bohemian, festival lifestyle is reflected at the Joshua Tree Yacht Club, an Airbnb in the California desert that offers short or long-term rentals of vintage Airstream trailers with decks and stock tank pools. Owned by longtime fashion photographer Sasha Eisenman, the the eight-foot pools are like a gleaming oasis in the desert. Catherine likes to fix up her cottage and has a flair for decorating, as evidenced by her Instagram account, Little Farm Big City. Her stock tank is tucked in a corner of the yard amongst raised beds of vegetables and seating for watching the kids. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.